So you've experienced so many smear campaigns in your life, you now predominantly fear a smear campaign. Yeah. As a result of doing what? Sorry, I messed that up. Oh, cutting off uh, certain family members. This is a really, really crucial issue that speaks to the heart of everything we're talking about tonight. With um, an abusive uh, family member, an abusive family unit, or an abusive relationship, you fit hand in glove. That's why it accelerates so quickly. You meet them, they meet you, perfect. Perfect prey, perfect predator. It's a dyad. It's a dyad. It's two people working together for an end goal, even if that end goal is chaos and destruction. So you're part of this. Your fear of their smear campaign, you, do you see how, as the structure of a smear campaign, you're part of it? I have a smear campaign going against me right now. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. But you're not scared. Why would I be? It depends what it's affecting. What you said smear doing. campaign. You didn't say somebody's trying to stab you. Now, I've had people try to stab me, and that was scary. <laughs> but nobody's trying to stab me. People are saying mean stuff about me. So they shouldn't be doing that. It's wrong. I'm not saying what they're doing is right. But where's my setting for toughness and resilience that I'm going to let total fucking losers say stuff and then I'm going to give it my attention? There is a world of possibilities out there. And I have a duty of care to people I can help. I can't be looking at shit that my ex-girlfriend is saying and it's drama and I, I am not allowed to engage. It is beneath me and my self-discipline and my dignity forbids. That's called a hard boundary. I, I don't want to hear it. People try and tell me, I'm like, stop. I don't want to hear it because it's horseshit. I'm not 15 anymore. So what can I do to help you? I can't just say toughen up, like that's not going to work. What I would say is moving out of the codependency into sovereignty. The sovereignty part is the bit that says, fuck you, I don't have to listen to you. Because right now you don't have that. You're like, no, I must listen to them. That's codependency <laughs> speaking. Because you've never crossed the taboo of saying, fuck you, I'm not gonna listen to you. You must. Not to them, that wouldn't be intelligent. But internally, you're gonna all have to do this. If you've been in an abusive relationship or you have abusive family members, internally you have to say, that's it. I've listened to you up until this point in my life, however many years. I'm stopping now. You clearly are a fucking horse's ass. <laughs> and I don't listen to horse's asses. It's gonna hurt, it's gonna be confusing. It's gonna invoke emotional flashbacks up the wazoo because it's a, it's a huge taboo. Uh -huh. But once you transgress that boundary, you won't have to fear that anymore. Because there's nothing to fear. It's just the man behind the curtain, the Wizard of Oz. What are they gonna do? Send you mean texts? Come on now. We're grown-ups here. There's real problems in the world, real serious problems in the world. This is some horseshit. But it's painful if you're still trying to win your mother's love. Ah, ow. Mm -hmm. It's painful if you're still trying to win the love back of your family. It's more when if it's business related. Sorry? It's more if... It's more painful if it's business related? Yeah, it's business related. Is it business related with your family? Uh, it, it, that part is, and it's happening in different sections. <laughs> My jeans are too tight! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's complex, because it goes out into society. Which society? What? In your situation, does it affect your business? Uh, it could. Does it? It could. <laughs> Many things could happen. All right. We'll so, talk. so we can, we can, you we'll can. Talk tomorrow. <laughs> well, what I would say is, don't, um, don't make more of it than it is. Don't imbue them with powers that they don't have. They're only humans, and if they break the law, you call the police. Is but, that the amygdala? Is it look, the police? No, the, the, is, it, is it the old fear in the amygdala, in the amygdala that's really? It's, 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 it's fear, it's fear. What has been imprinted on you from childhood is I am God and you don't disobey God. You obey me, child. So when they speak, you go back to child mode, which is a codependent response. Okay. So we need to move you from codependency to, to sovereignty. The fear of what will they say about me? And then the anxiety, I need to control their perceptions of me, is a hugely codependent response that can be resolved through taking action and moving into the, uh, the sovereignty thing. It's like, you need to consider this idea. Um, if a three-year-old walked up to you and said, I'm an alien from Pluto, what would your emotional response to that be? 
Okay. Okay. <laughs> right? That's the most beautiful Zen response you could give. Okay. You're, you're a bitch. You're horrible. You did this, like that. Okay. Same. Same. It's like that Zen story about the, the Zen master and they come up to his house and they go, you're a Zen master, you made my daughter pregnant, here's the baby, take the baby and look after the baby. And the Zen master goes, is that so? Looks after the baby for a year, they come back and they go, we're so sorry, it was never your baby, it was the other farmers, we need to take the baby back. And he's been looking after the baby for a year and he's bonded with the baby, he hands on the baby back. They say, we're really, really sorry about this, it's the other guy's daughter. And he goes, is that so? Okay, okay. <laughs> Little kid, I'm an alien from Pluto. Okay, you're this, you're that, you're the other thing. Okay, okay. I am no longer invested in trying to control your perceptions about me because they're not even sincere perceptions about me. It's just more horseshit. It's more gaslighting, it's more nonsense. They don't even believe what they're saying about you. That's the beautiful thing. Yeah. Nobody believes it. Wow, that's crazy. There's nobody out there who believes, there's no conscious entity out there who believes that stuff they're saying about you. It's a game. And it's so fun to play that game whilst you're engaged and you're emotionally responding. That's the fun of torturing somebody, is hearing them go, ow, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Whereas if you're just there going, okay, I'm not gonna torture you anymore, it's pointless. Mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't just say, oh, disengage, like you're engaged, so we have to work, we have to work through it. And that's about reclaiming the emotions, reclaiming your own personal space, taking it back from them, and then just letting that go, drawing that boundary. It's painful if you're still trying to win your mother's love. Ah. <laughs>